Diablo 1 has earned a lasting admiration from gamers and is touted as the darkest entry in the franchise. In fact, the perpetual unease and gloom the original boasted is a feeling that Diablo 4 is desperately trying to recreate. So much so that its tagline on the main website is Return to Darkness and was echoed multiple times at BlizzCon as a main feature, no doubt to garner goodwill with disenfranchised fans. These are all areas that remind us that we're in the world of Diablo and what we mean when we talk about Return to Darkness. But what exactly does darkness mean? If we're talking purely about the color palette, clearly Diablo 3 stepped away from the more muted tones of the original. Personally, I was blown away when Diablo 2 designer Phil Schenk said of the darkening of Tristram, Tristram had sort of grey, stormy colour scheme to it, he said. It wasn't day, it wasn't night. And I was thinking, how did they come up with that? It's not night and it's not daytime, it felt like an in-between world. And I thought, those guys are geniuses. Bear in mind that in Diablo 1 demons were known to attack villagers only at night as they were afraid of daylight. So to hold the sense of dread for the hero and the player, the developers leveraged that fear of feeling perpetually on the knife's edge of dusk, moments before Hell's minions would burst forth and tear the town to shreds. Which, despite our greatest efforts, did happen. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born? within the wonder.